Orion, will be moved to another facility on Saturday, and it could be integrated to the top of the rocket as early as June, followed by the rocket and capsule rolling out to the pad in the fall. And then we have about a month or two of work to do, final testing, before we head back out for launch. And if we can launch Artemis 1 to be the first human-rated vehicle to leave low Earth orbit since Apollo, then it's, it's going to be a good year. The Orion spacecraft is a step closer to being ready for the Artemis 1 mission to the moon. Engineers at our Kennedy Space Center recently finished installing and testing components, systems, and subsystems to ensure the spacecraft can accomplish the mission. Orion was then moved to another facility for fueling, marking the spacecraft's transition from the manufacturing and assembly stage to pre-flight processing. in excellent condition. Officials say the shutdown of a planned eight-minute test just over a minute into the firing was triggered by conservative parameters intentionally put in place for ground testing to ensure the safety of the core stage when it is mounted in the B-2 test stand. If this scenario occurred during an actual flight, the rocket would have continued to fly. Meanwhile, engineers have been busy moving the SLS's twin solid rocket boosters onto the mobile launcher at our Kennedy Space Center. The boosters will help power the rocket during the launch phase of Artemis 1. Following the final green run test and status, the core stage will be shipped to Kennedy and integrated with the boosters, the Orion spacecraft and other hardware in preparation for the Artemis 1 mission. February 21st for a second green run hot fire test of the Space Launch System or SLS rocket's core stage using the B-2 test stand at our Stennis Space Center. The exact date for the test will be set following a test readiness review. The hot fire is the final in a series of eight tests to ensure the core stage is ready for Artemis 1, the first uncrewed mission around the moon and back with the SLS and our Orion spacecraft. <laughs> 